Let's be honest, shopping for swimwear is hard. Well, at least in my world it is. But it doesn't have to be, and I'm going to show you why. So, so, so. I don't know many people that don't struggle when it comes to shopping for swimwear. Regardless of your body size or shape, it's always tricky. It may be the middle of winter here in New Zealand, but I'm jetting off to Bali next week, so I needed to find some swimwear that worked for me. So I've just been through this process. It works a treat. So if you'd like to shop for swimwear and get it right every single time, then just keep watching. Now first up, we really need to get our heads in the game when it comes to swimwear shopping. There's no point heading out the door or logging on to start shopping unless your head is in the game. What I really mean by this is managing our expectations before we even start. Now often when we're looking for swimwear, we're going through images of gorgeous young bikini clad models wearing swimsuits and looking amazing. But we won't look like that. Well, certainly I won't, and most of us don't look like that. So if we're expecting to see ourselves looking like that, we're setting ourselves up for disappointment. We're setting ourselves up to fail. So before we even start, we need to get our head in the game and really be kind to ourselves and manage our expectations. It's so easy to feel defeated when you're in a changing room trying on swimwear. I know, I've been there, just recently in fact. But the thing is, you've really got to give yourself a fighting chance. Little things make a big difference. Things like, if you feel better if you've got a little bit of colour before you go swimwear shopping, then fake tan yourself the day before. You really want to give yourself a fighting chance to not feel defeated when you're trying on swimwear. Now of course you're not going to be successful in every store that you go into but be prepared for that. Don't give up and feel defeated if you go into the first store don't find anything that fits you or works for you. That happens. It happens to everyone regardless of your body sh shape and size. It just happens. So don't be defeated if this happens to you. Just just keep plugging away at it and you will get there. The other important thing is that fashion just doesn't come into it when we're talking swimwear. There may be particular fashionable swimsuits that everyone seems to be wearing that particular season, but if they're not right for you, they are not right, full stop. So don't get caught up in the trap of thinking high-waisted bikini bottoms are going to be great because they're in fashion this season. If they're not right for you, they are just not going to work. So fashion needs to be thrown out the window when it comes to shopping for swimwear. It's all about what suits you and what you feel good in and what you feel supported and confident in. It's a confidence game when you're shopping for swimwear. My other tip is to embrace separates. I had to do that recently when I was looking for some swimwear to take to Bali with me. And the first store I went into, I found an amazing bikini top that fitted me perfectly. And it's this one here. Now the only problem was they didn't have the, the bottoms in my size. So what I always recommend to do is buy the piece that fits you. If you find something that fits, buy it. Separates are okay. I knew that I wasn't going to be able to find their matching bottom to these, but it doesn't matter. What I did find are these briefs, which are a full brief that work for me, and they're in a, a navy blue. So while this isn't a perfect set, it still works. So I think it's really important to, if you find a piece that actually fits you, and perhaps the top fits you and the bottom doesn't, or they don't have the bottom or the top in your size, don't worry about it. Grab the piece that fits you. Don't miss out. My other tip is don't be scared to feel different. You might feel you're most comfortable wearing a rash top and some board shorts, and that's okay. I mean, you don't need me to, to give you the permission to wear that. 
But I think sometimes it's nice to remember that it is okay to be different. Okay, everyone may be wearing string bikinis by the pool, but if that's not gonna work for you and you're not going to feel comfortable in one, then don't wear it. It's not right for you. It's not going to be the experience that you're after. Sometimes near enough is good enough when it comes to swimwear because the alternative is missing out and you don't want to miss out on having fun in the sun. So you need to get something. So if you are in store and you find a piece that fits you, just grab it. Don't procrastinate, grab it. Also remember that size doesn't matter when it comes to swimwear. Swimwear comes, like fashion, in all different shapes and sizes. So completely disregard the number on the label. The top that I bought was a different size to the bottom. And you know what? It doesn't matter. They're different makes, they're different brands. So if you need to go up a size, which generally you do in swimwear, it seems to be cut quite small. So you generally do need to go up a size, but be kind to yourself and don't don't get hung up on numbers and sizes on swing tags. Now when it comes to swimwear, more isn't always more. Now what I mean by this is often when we are looking to cover up because we're not feeling so confident kind of exposing ourselves to the world, we fall into the trap of thinking more fabric will cover us up more and be more flattering, but that's actually not the case. Extra fabric can actually emphasize those parts of your body that you're trying to minimize. Swimwear shopping is like clothes shopping. It's all about illusion dressing. So any brief, whether it's a bikini brief or the, the brief on a one piece, you need to have a little bit of an angle that elongates your legs regardless of the shape or size of your legs. So when it comes to swimwear, just remember that more fabric is not always more flattering. And of course you can get sarongs and caftans to lightly cover up when you get out of the water. But certainly with a swimsuit, it is not going to be more flattering if you try and cover up every part of your body. Usually what it will do is draw your eye to that very part. It always pays to spend a little bit more on swimwear, especially if you go to the trouble to find something that fits you well and you are happy with. The last thing you want happening is for that to fall apart after one swim. And often cheaper, cheaper swimwear does tend to do that. It's just not made from the same quality fabrics. So they don't last the distance and they certainly don't stand up to chlorine and salt water. So it does always pay to spend as much as you possibly can on your swimwear because you'll get better quality and it will last you longer. Ties are your friend when it comes to swimwear. So anything with tie detail can be really good and things like bikini briefs with these tie details because what it does it's a bit it's twofold really it means that you can fit the brief to your body so you can tighten it and make it fit really well the other thing that tie detailing is good for is it kind of camouflages sometimes the biggest areas of your body which is for me around my hips so having a little bit of tie detail kind of detracts the eye away from that area and tends to be really flattering also tie detailing on bikini tops like this halter neck again are really good for ensuring that you're getting a sort of a bespoke fit you can actually get your swimwear to fit you because you have control over how tightly you tie it so in the, in the first instance, it's really good to look for styles that do have self-tying straps because you can adjust it to fit you and fit your body perfectly. Now, if you have a large bust, now I, I fall into this camp, so I get this, I'm a D cup and support is key if you're looking for swimwear and you have a fuller bust. While I love triangle bikinis, they just don't offer me the support that I need. And there's nothing worse than getting that side boob action. I mean, hey, if you like it, go for it, but for me it doesn't work. So whenever I buy swimwear, I need to find swimwear that 
has an underwire for starters. So this is a triangle bikini top, essentially, but it has a great amount of support because it's got underwires here, which are pretty much invisible as well. It's also got some boning underwire detail here in the side, which also gives extra support. The little design features here are quite clever too because what they do is they can be brought down to change the actual size of the cup too. So, so if you have a fuller bust, underwire bra style bikini tops are the most flattering. And also thicker straps too. So instead of really fine shoestring straps, you really do need a thicker strap to give you that little bit of extra support as well. A one piece that is higher at the back is great for giving you some support as well. And when it comes to one pieces, look for molded cups. Don't be scared about the molded cups thinking that they're actually going to make you look bigger. A really fine, thin molded cup will actually give your bust shape, which is what you want, and it will give you support. So a molded cup will work really well. If you've got a smaller bust, you can look for swimwear that is embellished and it has ruffle detailing and bows and anything that's going to sort of attract the eye to your bust area because that will immediately give the illusion of fullness. Triangle tops will create the illusion of fullness and there are plenty of padded push-up style bikini tops out there too which will again enhance your bust line and make it look fuller. Bandeau tops are great for you if you have a smaller bust, especially tops like this with really gorgeous ruffle detailing. Shuring detailing works miracles when it comes to disguising a tummy. So if your problem area is your midriff, look for swimwear with shuring, like a full piece like the one that I've just bought here that has gorgeous shuring detail down both sides and it just creates such an incredibly flattering look. That's it for today. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you managed to get some tips and tricks and you feel a whole lot more confident about hitting the shops and buying some swimwear. If you enjoyed this video, I would love you to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more. I'm posting a new video every week and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.